thriving urban city close to nature and history. Known for its friendly business climate, warm smiles, and the world-class Mascara Festival. Bacalit is not short of things to offer, but whether you're visiting or you live here, you haven't been to Bacalit until you've had Bacalit's chicken and asal. Inasal derives from the Spanish verb asar, which means to roast or toast. Delicious, juicy. Kaya ka natural lang kita niya ng sabor. Sabi pa may garlic kag mantika, mo ko namit kaon. Enjoyed by a variety of people, Bacolod's chicken and asal has become a favorite both locally and across the nation. Though the popularity of Bacolod's chicken and asal is evident, many do not know that this familiar barbecue treat had its humble beginnings on the streets of Bacolod City. The chicken and asal is now one of the identities and even attractions of Bacolod City. And when you come to think about how it all started, it's very interesting. It was, um, it was by chance. Believe it or not, there was a time that no one cooked or sold chicken and asal in Bacolod. It was sometime during the 1950s when a few ambulant vendors started selling chicken barbecue by accident. Kami hindi ako ang nag-start niya, o gagan ko lang. Kabiliga, sila sa kwan mo, tuba ka karaho, blang inasal. Di nag-abot ang iyaga, o tod nga nag-abulante sa manok. May ginariya silang manok bala, siya pangumpra nila. Pag-ariya nila, guru, nag-agwa ang ulo sa manok na patay. Di ko mo ga-indom sila, sila yung isang gagan ko siya. Ihawa na siya ang patay na kay Subsumanta. Samtang nag-aluto sila, ang, naga, ang mga tao nga mag-aang nagkakita nga nag-aasal sila manok. Ang mutong manok nga ginaasal nila, magin bakal sa nagbakal kraho. Tiastang nauro, twice lang tilaw. During this time, they were still at the sidewalk of Old Florida Theater. These ambulant vendors sold their chicken and asal and carritos, or push carts that they could just take home afterward. In the late 60s, they moved to Taft Street, now known as Quadra Street. The nearby State Theater became the location's landmark for this growing hub of ambulant chicken and asal vendors. Soon, the area became known as Kilid State. Kilid is the local term for the word beside, while state referred to state theater. Kilid State therefore meant beside state theater. Ang sundanan ng sa pagbaligyan na ito sa kwadra sa Kilid sa state. Karito lang to, why pa to sang building to nga ginabaligyan. Si sang ulihi, naluoy man si Mrs. Dyson kag si Attorney Orola. Gin sabat nila nga gin kuana nila pay muan sang daw kamalig nga nagisa na lang ang atop sang kabilugan. There they began to thrive when the unique flavor of Bacolod chicken and asal became popular. As more and more people flocked to Kilid State for their favorite street food, semi-permanent food stalls began to replace the push carts. Little by little, this started to cause some problems with the traffic in the area. They became so big, they eventually needed to be transferred because already the, the term of Mayor Digoy Montalvo, who was incidentally also the mayor when the Mascara Festival started, so, I was then the uh, provincial tourism officer and uh, of course when we saw the tourist potentials of this uh, business, we supported it in, in terms of promotion and the city government had to eventually transfer them to the new area in the reclamation where they were given now regular stalls like any other market stall that uh, is under the supervision and uh, regulation of this city government. From its humble beginnings, the success of Kilid State Chicken and Asal eventually led to its acceptance to mainstream and specialty restaurants as the Bacolod Chicken and Asal flavor. Minocan Country, presently home to 20 stalls rented out by different restaurants, many of whom are descendants of the original Killed State vendors, all selling the same thing, warm, delicious chicken and asal. The customer is free to make the choice of restaurant they want to try out. No need to worry about the price, since they are more or less similar. 
What distinguishes each stall from one another is their homemade marinade and sinamak. The sinamak is a kind of spicy herb coconut vinegar. This dip helps highlight this humble dish into some kind of gourmet offering. Preparing the taste of what we now know as bacolod chicken in a sal starts at the delivery of chicken around 8 in the morning. By 10 a.m., the chicken are cut up and marinated. The basic ingredients of the marinade are salt, sugar, vinegar, ginger, garlic, and calamansi. The proportions of these ingredients differ among restaurants. After the chicken is done marinating, the chicken pieces are now on sticks. They are placed aside where they can be removed anytime should there be orders. The rest are placed inside refrigerators to preserve its freshness. When the customers arrive and settle their orders, the chicken is charcoal grilled over low fire, while the chef constantly bastes it with ashwetis. The ashwetis mix is also offered as a flavoring to the steaming hot rice that is served with the chicken and asal. The usual sausawan or the dipping sauce you'll encounter when you're served in asal are toyo, soy sauce, sinamak, and calamansi. To really enjoy the meal, eat with your bare hands. The Bacolod chicken in asal has had an amazing run from the side streets of Bacolod before it first started to the mainstream restaurants where it is now served. From our uh, tiny little city in Central Philippines, to the rest of the Philippines and the rest of the world. Many localities in the Philippines have become identified with some special food that originated from them. There is La Paz Bachoy from La Paz, Iloilo. Malabon brings us the Pancit Malabon. And there is Manokan Country Chicken in Asa for Bacolod, the street food that has come of age. So come to where the flavor is. Come to Manokan Country.